Hello! It's been a while since I've done like vlogs in general, but to say the least, my routine has been whack for the past two weeks. I haven't gone to the office for a full week. I would just go in one day, leave the next, spend the rest of the day at home, and wonder why I'm not getting anything done. But honestly, it's just been relatively harder to be in a good mental place right now. I don't know, I do have those moments and it's Monday today and I am going to have a therapy session at 10 o'clock so I have like the next half hour to clean and plan my week. Another boo-boo that I did was I didn't bring home my planner. <laughs> So I have to work on that this morning because I don't think I can start the week without actually writing what needs to be done or at least my idea of what I have to do. I do realize that this week is not going to be as busy as most weeks so that's going to give me a lot of time to write and update my book deadline which is coming up in mid-July. I feel like a lot of things are happening but I am trying my best to be more at peace. This week, I also have to pack international orders, so that is also on my to-do list. But before anything else, coffee. I actually made coffee this morning at home. I already had breakfast at home. I cooked breakfast at home for the family, and I was like, you know, I'll just bring my coffee. So I made, um, what was that? Like Misty Valley Brew. It was pretty good, and taking it here, but it's not as hot anymore because I had to pack orders. I had to assemble some labels of orders which were picked up earlier today. So admittedly, I have a habit of not opening packages for some reason. So I do have a couple that I'm going to open today. And let's take a look at it. Uh, first up is I ordered from Badass Studios Co. Hi to Reese. And recently there was a new drop of Windbreaker. So I was like, you know, I kind of need this because... I go to the studio back and forth in the office and sometimes it rains. It actually rained earlier today, so I was like, I might need it. I also added in a couple of essentials that I've been eyeing on the Badass Tote Girl website. So, I ordered the BTG card holder, which is, of course, in my favorite color. Isn't it obvious? I mean, look at my notebooks. Most of my bags are this color. My scrunchie is. So this card holder holds a lot of stuff inside. It can also double as a coin purse, I would say. And I'm really looking forward to store my essentials here, especially if I'm gonna run errands. And I also ordered the Moon Z UZ collab and I got a free keychain. So thank you so much, Reese. There's also a note inside. Um, this sticker sheet, I don't know, I just really wanted it for decorating my journal. Super cute style by Moon and there. And this is a freebie, which I will probably put in one of my totes. Super cute. And here is the Windbreaker, which comes in a lovely pink color. And it's actually very thick. I'm looking forward to 
try it out. Actually, I mean, this isn't like a fashion haul kind of thing, but you know, let's try it. Yeah, I think it, it fits great. This one is actually a long overdue package from Gem of Put It In Paper and I only got to open it now because it's been a messy couple of weeks here in my office so yeah she gladly customized a wax seal design for me and I also ordered some washi off of her shop because I really like the design so so here are the washi rolls of course I had to get them because it's the nature lover in me and these are the designs hey I was wrong this is an embosser of course I had to google it and basically I have to put in a piece of paper, press it hard, letter A on it. Let's see how my first attempt is. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Can you see it? Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is June 22nd and I just finished packing the rest of the orders that's due for pickup tomorrow. So one thing that I did yesterday was I packed half of them on the last hour of work, which I think was kind of a good move on my end. That way I don't have to pack or spend like a good chunk of today packing because this week I just want to focus on the task at hand which is book writing. I don't know if I mentioned this before but I actually signed on to do a book with my US publisher and it's coming out next year so I really have to get down and do the work and I don't know the process of writing a book in a pandemic so I think that's gonna be a big challenge. I do have this notebook where I write all of the ideas that I have and the first deadline is going to be um, on July 15th which is like next month mid-July so it's um, eight spreads which are 16 pages um, full of text and images so I have to work on that and coordinate with a couple of other things like getting contributors and stuff like that so that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day which is kind of interesting because you know how I do a lot of different things but when you're writing a book you really have to just sit down and write so I'm thinking of getting takeout later for lunch so that I don't have to cook don't have to do a lot of other work and just sit down and type and it's 10 10 30 now so I filmed a lot of TikTok also earlier TikTok videos from packing so it was quite a mess here
feel like it's been a few days since I've been thriving, kind of. <laughs> I mean, I was at home for two and a half, one and a half days. So I've been trying to get back on track with work. I also printed out this big A3 print, which I have to probably put somewhere here, just so I have a sense of knowing what I've been working on. And I don't know, physical deadline trackers are better for me. They work better than having them on, a, on my computer, so. So I got this in the mail today when I entered the office. Thank you to one of my patrons, Intan, for sending this over. Since we're here, I wanted to show you um, my new pepperon printer. I got one because it was on sale during the 6-6 sale and I was thinking of um, adding in some extra packaging stickers on my orders, especially like please recycle stickers and some little promotional stickers. So I decided to get a Bluetooth printer for it. I actually had one before but I sold it and it's not paparang so I was like you know I kind of think I need a paparang need hashtag business expense so let's take a look at it. I've already downloaded the app on my phone so it's just a matter of setting it up and I'm going to be packing orders next week so I think it will be great to have these in addition to my packing so cute it's this tiny i actually want to design it so this is the papera p1 i might need to charge it so cutie comes with a plug for charging so i'm gonna do that and probably set it up later on
yellow versus the one that I used earlier. Not much of a color difference, but I would say like if I want to get straight to the point with like a uh, yellow that I really want, it's this one. And then the next one I got was a brick red. This one became one of my favorites actually. Wait, I'm gonna zoom it out so that you can see it. You can see it there. So this brick red, really nice. By the way, I'm using the opposite side. It's not, not coarse anymore. Nice brick red. Kind of is 